Hello there. Today I wanted to try what's billed as the world's favourite wine brand. This is uh, Yellowtail. Uh, this is the Shiraz. It's the 2021 vintage of this. And it's made by the Casella family. Um, evidently a Yellowtail isn't actually a kangaroo. It's a yellow-footed rock wallaby. So a very close relation of a kangaroo. But a very um, typically Australian animal, a marsupial, um, large mammal, and uh, as such, Yellowtail is the archetypal critter brand, so a brand named after an animal, so with no real um, relation to the place in which it's made, but I suppose actually in some ways the um, rock wallaby ties the um, uh, branding very closely to Australia um, and it's been a very successful brand indeed I mean these these are um, good value for money varietal wines um, and at times um, Yellowtail has um, represented more than 8% of Australia's wine production there have been years when it's been over 15% of their wine exports in total now the Casella family have a history making wine back to the 1820s. This was when the family were still in Sicily. Um, and then in uh, 1957, Filippo and Maria emigrated to Australia. Um, by uh, 1960, they had their own um, vineyard and winery in a place called Yenda, which is in the uh, uh, Riverina um, area of New South Wales, inland New South Wales. Uh, Yenda is just to the... Um, east of Griffith, um, so we're about five or six dro uh, hours drive inland from um, from Sydney, and um, the, the area is part of the, the Murrumbidgee irrigation area, so it's an area of flat land well supplied with irrigation water, so it's, it's well suited to making good value wines with a, a, a regular climate with quite low disease input in terms of um, fungal diseases and that sort of thing because it's quite dry in there and water is regulated through your irrigation. Um, it was in 2000 that John Casella, um, at that stage head of the family, um, decided that he would create this brand and it was a brand aimed completely at the US market and I think they'd got their aim really pretty true because in the first year of production they sold over a million cases and they, really they haven't looked back now 20 years later the wine's being sold in 60 countries uh, they claim to have won 550 awards worldwide um, and there's there's quite a lot of demand for it I mean we see a lot of searches for Yellowtail um, on our website so I thought it would be a really nice idea to try it and see if the wine actually measured up to the um, level of uh, interest that it gets. So, um, the first thing to say is, for what is a relatively cheap wine, I'm actually quite impressed by how uh, deep the colour is. Um, I mean, it's not opaque, but I, I, you know, it's not easy to see through. It's not a lightweight wine there. As I swell it, it forms some legs on the glass. Um, the wine is only 13.5% alcohol, so it's not a huge, rich, block-busting Australian Shiraz. Let's have a look at the aroma, shall we? Smelling those, there's a dusty, maybe slightly leathery, um, slightly savoury, spicy note overlaying very ripe fruit, very ripe sort of um, um, almost prune to um, licorice ripe dark fruit with yes dusty and maybe slightly peppery overtones as well um, it's not the um, cleanest freshest most fruit forward style I'm, I'm I was expecting a little more of that, and this is, you know, quite uh, savoury and quite complex, which is a little bit of a surprise. On the 
palate, I'm also really surprised. The wine has a um, quite a leathery note. Um, yeah, very classic note of Australian Shiraz there. That um, quite savoury, slightly meaty note. There is um, a peppery spice to it. Um, there's an underlying quite rich red mulberry, but that's being um, overlaid by tiny bits of, sort of sl maybe slightly dusty oak. Um, but yes, this sort of peppery, quite focused, medium to light bodied, uh, but with some structure. The tannins are very supple, there's no, there's no um, particularly astringent grip to them. But there is that sort of slight bitterness leading on to a sort of an almost black licorice concentration. And then at the finish, some more sort of, I suppose they are mulberry, um, dark plum notes. The, I mean, the wine lasts fairly well considering it's a, a relatively lightweight wine. And it has a clean, um, quite rounded note, I was, I was going to say fruit driven, but it's the fruit actually is supported by some, some of that sort of savoury complexity there, to an extent that is really quite surprising. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. This is an incredibly successful um, brand, and brands don't get to be successful just by their marketing spend. Generally, you have to have a really good wine in the bottle, and um, I'm really pleasantly impressed by that. I think for the money that I've paid for that, that's a, a really quite decent buy and, and something I might be more inclined to drink again. I hadn't really tried Yellowtail probably for 10 years. And, um, really quite an impressive wine considering. So um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Um, please do join up and follow us. Do feel free to like and share the video. Do leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think of these wines. Um, but also, do please try and make sure you join us again, won't you? Bye now.